Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 16th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, we did receive another CME and another, well, a few more solar flares, actually, C-class solar flares from the active four sunspot regions. Look in the last 48 hours incoming. We do have a pretty active region northwest on our sun that will be on the right-hand side. Shooting out some minor solar flares. Looking at outgoing, this is where we've seen most of the activity recently, especially on the left-hand side with that outgoing sunspot. And just recently on the left-hand side, plasma filament eruption, CME. Closer look at that region here. This is where it happened. Boom, and that created a large coronal mass ejection. Luckily, not in an earth-facing fashion as we already have one on the way due the 18th. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. Just another amazing way to see our beautiful sun, active regions. And a couple coronal holes developing. Notable there, the incoming sunspot. 171 angstroms here, and this is where we can see the coronal holes. They will turn up as blackened regions. And in the last few frames of these images here from SDO, a couple coronal holes are developing. Thanks, everybody, for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide, keeping you informed with my daily analysis. Looking at current space weather conditions, right now we are under a radio blackout impact. Low frequency navigation will be affected as well. Geomagnetic storm and impact G1. And that is due to all of this solar X-ray influx. As we've seen many solar flares, two strong C-class solar flares just today. Solar proton flux remains steady. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to another KP of five early this morning. Sitting at KP three. Real-time solar wind sitting at 482 kilometers per second right now. And that was to be expected as forewarned in yesterday's video. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME taking off into an open space of area except for OSIRIS. Having a look here at the probability of Aurora. Big chance of northern lights tonight through Canada and as well through Russia. Very strong chance actually through Alaska. It will be a beautiful sight. So eyes to the skies tonight, folks. Having a look at Lasco 3 is showing all of the sun's events. This is the past two days of imagery. Noting in the last few frames there. The CME taking off from the northeast position of our sun. And as well, what one taking off from the southern hemisphere. Right there. Schumann resonance for today is a power of seven. Another low power. Quick look at the telemetry here. Had a few spikes throughout the day around 5 a.m. 5 p.m. Quality of 13, amplitude of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's starting to get busy. We're sitting at about 250 earthquakes, according to USGS. And it started out early this morning with a large 5.4 earthquake in Haiti. Off the coast of Haiti, 5.4 earthquake, 14 kilometer depth, as well as 5.1 here in Guatemala. 4.1 there in Palmar, Mexico, and as well a pretty sizable earthquake here, 4.7, Hermley, Texas. Minor activity continues through Southern California, small swarm occurring at Salton Sea right now, 
3.2 earthquake Utah, and a couple minor earthquakes up towards Northern California and Oregon border. Overlooking Alaska, minor activity is increasing. 3.0 was the largest through the day. Round to the Indian plate here, 4.3 in Bangladesh, 61 kilometer depth, as well as 4.7 Fezabad, Afghanistan. Northwest Philippines, Luzon, Philippines, reporting a 5.0, as well as 4.6 here in Yigo Village, Guam. 5.6 earthquake here, Vanuatu, and then active region through Tonga still. Seen a couple deep earthquakes today. Today there, 203 kilometer depth, as well a 530 kilometer depth, 4.5 magnitude. So a little bit concerning when we get to that region, especially when all the deep deep earthquakes rock our planet. 4.9 earthquake today, Tanzania, 10 kilometer depth as well a 5.2 earthquake, Turkey. Now these earthquakes continue, but these ones are just along the shoreline of the Mediterranean. What is going on there? We've seen earth cracks open up across Turkey. Surprise, uh, surprise earthquake here, 4.8 Croatia, as well that 4.4 Romania. 5.3 Mid-Atlantic Ridge and South America, Abrapampa, Argentina, 256 kilometer depth, 4.5. The only one to report there today. A quick look here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching tonight's show. I hope you enjoy all the information shared here with daily events worldwide in a way like you've never seen it before. Much love and I appreciate all the loyalty and support and respect to everyone in the chats. It's been an amazing five year journey so far. Let's keep growing. Just past 61,000 follows. Next goal 75,000. Heads up, North American plate. Things are a brewing. Now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery. And as well, noting out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Pretty quiet for volcanoes, but weather is another thing. We've got extreme weather breaking out across the Gulf states right now and as well through Midwestern states. Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, New Orleans, and Nashville all seeing tornado warnings in the past little bit. And that probably will continue through the night tonight. Further northward, you're seeing snow. And it's very quiet for volcanoes today. Not many getting updated at all. But again, pretty strong system there through the United States. Set to bring some mixed weather tonight to Ontario. Heads up for freezing rain. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Huge low pressure system just south of Kamchatka there. In the West Pacific. Another one tucked up in front of that is heading straight towards Alaska. Also have a pretty intense low bringing tons of moisture through the Northern Territory of Australia. Got Tropical Cyclone Freddy who is still heading west. And it will make landfall Madagascar. The long range forecast for that hurricane is not good. Overlooking Europe and North Africa. Pretty intense low pressure system here affecting Morocco with lots of moisture and as well a dust storm ahead of that low pressure system. Just have a look at that dense low as it crashes into the continent. Sucking up a lot of that Saharan dust. Now let's get to the weather forecast brought to you by Ventu Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. We've got a low just about in Ontario as well as a low northern Quebec and Labrador. Low pressure system through the Canadian prairies and a low in northern BC. Let's see how all this plays out over the next little bit. You can see the extreme weather will be prevalent tonight across southeastern United States. This storm is set to quickly whip up into the maritime provinces. 
heavy winds and snow. Low pressure center coming out of the Hudson Bay, set to diminish with high pressure ridge in front. Things will dry out for a couple days. But then we've got this big system that will be pushing through. Watch for heavy snowfall totals and rain through BC, heavy snowfall southern Alberta with upsloping snows. And then long range forecast by the 22nd, we have a big storm developing here. There's about three low pressure systems wrapped up in this big system. And it will bring a wild weather event through Ontario. Heavy snowfall through northern Ontario and Quebec. Overlooking South America. No major weather events coming to you. Daily evaporation rains. And that's about it. And then overlooking South Africa and Madagascar. Watching the track of Cyclone Freddy here. As by Monday next week, it will be just north of Reunion Island and Mauritius. And then by Tuesday, we'll be making landfall eastern Madagascar. And then it's going to head straight across Madagascar and into parts of Southeast Africa. Just have a look at the track of this cyclone. And it most likely will be a Category 3 cyclone when it makes landfall. So heads up, Madagascar. You have a strong cyclone on its way. And his name is Freddy. Just look at the track here as it heads west. And then makes landfall Eastern Africa by the 26th into the 27th. Other than that, daily evaporation rains through southern central regions, Congo. Overlooking Europe, you have a ton of low pressure systems in the North Atlantic right now. And they're going to start spiraling through. As you can see here, weather will be spilling through the region across the continent. Over the next few days, Tuesday into Wednesday, it will be gray right across Europe from east, from west to east. And watch along that convergence line. You could see some pretty intense weather. Overlooking Southeast Asia, the West Pacific, pretty strong system heading towards the Philippines, but not going to make landfall nor develop into anything stronger. Australia, you still have two low pressure systems affecting you in the Northern Territory. New Zealand's going to dry out here for the next few days. Hopefully they can clean up after all of those floods from Cyclone Gabriel. Long range forecast, going to see some intense weather moving in to northeastern parts of Australia. Leafy here looking at the Northern Hemisphere in the Pacific Ocean. Watching these developing systems. Watch for a lot of moisture to be falling over Hawaii over the next few days. Heads up. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.